Welcome to Candle Lake Provincial Park in Saskatchewan, Canada. We've just rocked up a little bit late actually and we're gonna have to set our tent up super quickly so we can go for a swim in this gorgeous lake. It's a good spot. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's uh, it's quiet. Yeah. There are so many mosquitoes here. I can't even like stand still for one second. <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> oh, I mind you, weeby, huh? It's perfect though. I wish I had that. <clears throat> well, the tent is has taken shape. Uh, but this site has definitely not been built for tents because <laughs> the ground is completely solid and rock so we can't even get our pins in uh, but anyway it's good for one night anyway we've driven just a little bit down the road out of sandy bay and we're coming for dinner at this restaurant called the wick um, it's actually closing soon so let's see if we can actually get a table a oh that would suck Really well, yeah. Pretty typical pub type food, but it's tasty. Caesar salad? Only that typical would uh, I think there's always like a standard salad, wouldn't yeah, you say? I, I mean, a good meaty pizza, that's definitely standard. Yeah. Good job. neat place. Just quickly in and out. We can go for a swim at nine o'clock at night. Hmm. Why not? It doesn't feel or look like nine o'clock at night. Yeah, I think it does. You know, in the winter, like nine o'clock at night is like night night time. Yeah. This is just a, a grand summer's evening. Mm -hmm. It's not actually overcast, that's smoke. Like, if you look up the weather forecast, it says clear blue skies. Just, um, that's just part of being surrounded by pine forests and Canadian summer, I suppose. This has been a little bit weird, actually. Kind of just arrived super late at night, threw up our tent, and then went for dinner like super quickly right before it closed. The restaurant closed, yeah, and then, and now we're just gonna go for like a 10-minute swim. But in reality, like I'd love to spend some actual time here. <laughs> it looks amazing. We only have the one.
out way too many mosquitoes. a beautiful place. This is what people in Saskatchewan would refer to as Northern Saskatchewan, uh, which is a little bit funny because if you look at it on the map, it's actually dead center and even more south actually than north. But thinking, yeah. yeah, but basically like the majority of people who live in Saskatchewan live in Southern Saskatchewan and everything in Northern Saskatchewan is um, mostly like dense forest. And uh, yeah, not many people live there, but um, there's a really distinct area where the tree line starts. So in Southern Saskatchewan, it's mostly bald flat prairie with um, just like, you know, kilometers and kilometers of farmland. And that's all you can see mostly. And um, just suddenly it's, it's like there's a line drawn across the map or something and then all these evergreen trees start to grow and that is basically where northern Saskatchewan begins and, and well the divide between northern and southern Saskatchewan <laughs> at least that's kind of how people refer to it um, so yeah northern Saskatchewan will look completely different than southern Saskatchewan it's very interesting and as someone who exclusively grew up in southern Saskatchewan it's such a treat to come up here it's like you know it's come it feels like coming to the picturesque part of Canada almost so it's really nice to be in this area even if it is only for one night also I'm wearing my dweeby hat there's nothing wrong with that hat <laughs> well it makes me look dweeby mm. but my head is like a golf ball from a lot of mosquito bites yeah it's pretty Insane. It's pretty, pretty grim. I've never experienced this bad, like this amount of bugs before. Yeah, I think it's actually just because of like the wind at the moment has come up and that's why they're not around yeah. at this very second. Like I say as I slap one away. Yeah, um, as we were setting up that tent. Oh, that was grim. <laughs> like, I feel like I lost half a point of blood. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to go into our cozy tent that is not secured down on the ground uh, and it's getting windier so it might be an interesting night. Oh, it's a little after 4 a.m. and I don't think we got a wink of sleep. <laughs> Look at all these bugs. Actually, I don't know if you can see them. They're not actually inside a tent, but somehow, oh, somehow they're getting in. No, oh, the big fellow up there just got in. <laughs> ah, yes, I know the birds singing. We put white eyes on with a bird is so loud. <laughs> well, that wasn't the most magical evening that I had expected. But, of course, there are always a lot worse things you can do than wake up in a provincial park that looks like this. still quite smoky in the area not quite as bad as yesterday but I can really see it like when looking in a distance um, it just kind of has this ethereal look to the trees which is a little bit cool um, but it, it actually really smells like smoke which is pretty ominous actually the fires don't usually come 
too far into southern Saskatchewan. Uh, they're usually uh, much farther north and also in Alberta and then the smoke just kind of travels to this area. Um, but it's a pretty scary concept that, um, you know, this whole place just could be up in smoke. It's very possible. Yeah, it also means that there's a fire ban in the provincial park, so that kind of sucks as well. Because it's fun to have a campfire while camping, of course. So despite only being here for actually less than 24 hours, the highlight of what I wanted to do here is yet to come. All right, we are starting what I consider the highlight of our little Candle Lake camping trip. We are at the Ashim Heritage Trail. Uh, so there is an old homestead from like the 1920s in this area and you can do a hike to it. Oh, if I just stop walking for a second. Oh. <laughs> can you see them? Yeah. Oh, they're terrible. Look at my legs. Ah! Okay, don't do that though. Don't let them eat you. <laughs> Can you see the... Yeah. That is filthy. I don't think I've ever seen so many. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Okay, so we just parked up here and we're going this way. Oh, oh yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Because it's a circle. <laughs> Perfect. This is so exciting. I saw just off the trail that there are wild prairie lilies here. Yay! They're so pretty. Oh, there's. This is weird. It's like an ominous place here. Yeah. Feels like. A... I chose oh, the right day to wear yeah. my t-shirt. <laughs> Feels like. Um... The fairies are going to come out and take us away or something. Oh, here's another one. <sighs> Not like a textbook fairy. The prairie lily is the Saskatchewan provincial official flower and it's kind of used as like the symbol for everything Saskatchewan so like it's on a lot of logos like Carl's shirt. Um, so yeah it's really cool to see them because I, I used to see them in the wild all the time when I was growing up but it seems like in the past like decade or so I don't even think I've seen any. <laughs> so it's pretty exciting to see them here especially so many of them. Ooh, we can see it up ahead. Cool, that's actually really large. Yeah, wow. I read some reviews before coming here and it says you can actually go inside and take a look around. So let's see. Wow, this is interesting. Very cool. Has all the old farming machines. Oh, holy! Whoa, the old like uh, sheds. Jeez, imagine living here. Be amazing. Never be short of um, wood or fire. Are there gonna be animals in here that will jump out at me? 
Hello, animals. Anyone home? Oh, wow. This is cool. This is cool. So what did it say, 1921, that this was built? I thought it was 1929, but yeah, 1920s anyway. This is solid. This is a great house. Jeez, this is amazing. Look at this furniture. This is better than my wardrobe. <laughs> you don't even have a wardrobe. No, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe all this stuff is still in here. <gasps> Look at that stove. Oh my gosh. The pressure gauge and everything else. This would be like... I'm pretty sure this would fetch a fair price at a antique auction. Holy, this is amazing. Kitchen yeah. queen. That's a cool uh, <laughs> uh, company name. <laughs> That's a lot of tea. Oh, yeah. Oh, a cup of tea. Some washboards. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful milk carton. It's obviously been added since. Oh, 94. Lorraine yeah. Hamilton. Well, that's a pretty cool piece of advertisement for your art. Yeah, well done, Lorraine Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Lorraine Hamilton. <laughs> oh, a washboard. I always think these are so picturesque. Yeah. I can't believe all this cool stuff that's in here. Okay, put your light oh, down there. I'm what? scared. Oh, but my leg. I have to put my leg down no. there. No. Put my leg down there. Oh. It's just a hidden Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a, a cellar. Space. Yeah, yeah. It's just where they keep their veg and stuff. Wow. I can't believe all this stuff. I'm starting to get suspicious that this stuff wasn't just left here. That it was, like, people placed. Well, keep in mind, they definitely lived here until the, the, the 60s. Mm, I don't think so. I'm judging by the box, and they, they didn't just live here in the 20s and 30s. Mm. Oh, the floor is neat. So, 1932 is when they had established it. Uh, 1937 is when they were farming it, uh, and they were here for over 20 years. No, it says for over 20 years the homestead was not used. So then in 1977, so 1957, sure it was just a wind. It wasn't a beer slamming the door. What are the chances of me going up these stairs and not falling through? Uh, I'd be more interested in you squeeing because you hear a bird or see a nest or something. But this wood ain't gone anyway. To be honest, I'm, it looks much more solid than many other... Yeah, houses yeah. I have seen. Wow, I can't believe the construction of this place. I've been in attics in the last 20 years that don't look as good as yeah. this. Yeah, like I want to live in this house. You already gave me a couple of sheets of sandpaper. <laughs> and 50 years. Sand this all down. Wow. Oh, is this the family? That makes sense. Oh yeah, there they are building this place. Yay, that is so neat. There they are. Wow, skis and snowshoes. Yeah. Mini museum. Yeah, period donations welcome. So a, a lot of these things probably weren't actually originally yeah. from this homestead. Oh my god, is there a draw knife? Draw knife. What's, except for, um, you know, you see them when you have like an animal skin? It's like oh, maybe. Clean it up. A hay knife. You know what, this is, this is very dull. Hmm. Hmm. Coal bucket, grain scoop, okay. It's nice that we uh, have labels for these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes we may explore old abandoned homesteads. 
uh, that do not that have stuff like this, but we do not know what any of the things are. So. Like proper about. Yeah. A binder is sickle. I have not seen flowers like this before. Ooh. Oh! Strawberry or raspberries. I thought I saw a raspberry area, but I'm like, no, I'm sure <laughs> I bet you they had a garden. I would say they probably planted those many, many, many years ago. Look at this. I'm going to consume this raspberry that was planted a hundred years ago. Hey, remember that bird this morning? Find yeah. one, eat it. Eat the old raspberries from a hundred years ago. They're probably gone off. <laughs> They're just grown. Carly, eat this raspberry at once. Mm. Is this, is this our I, I ate it already. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> so Okay, this is like a treasure trove here. Look at these flowers. They're huge. It was a very short but sweet visit to Candle Lake Provincial Park. I think we were here less than 24 hours actually, um, but we got a lot in despite that. We went for a really nice evening swim. We had an adventure in the tent battling mosquitoes all night. <laughs> <laughs> all night. All night. And then, um, yeah, actually, like this hike is amazing. Like, I, I couldn't imagine coming to this area and not doing this hike. It's not even a hike, it's more of a walk. Yeah, there's many beautiful walks in the area. We went, I went for another swim this morning. Beautiful swimming, beautiful sandy beaches, beautiful views. There's so much to see here. And this walk in particular is so well maintained, it's so mm. open, there's so much to see. It's only three and a half kilometer loop as well. Very yeah. doable. Yeah, this trail also has a ton of information about the area. Uh, which we haven't been stopping to read because there's so many mosquitoes. Uh, but that, that homestead was fascinating and I could have looked around there quite a bit longer to be honest. So um, we are actually coming back to Candle Lake in a couple weeks and we'll be able to spend a little bit more time in the area and seeing what there is to do here. There's actually um, another handful of restaurants that will be great to test out as well. So yeah, can't wait to come back to Candle Lake Provincial Park in a few weeks.